Yes, my name is Zulfi, Silver Store, Gold Soak, Dubai, gate number one, live on Kings TV. Subscribe, follow, share, please. All right, guys, once again, my name is Ruben Kintepa on I Kings TV. It's another day, another night, another afternoon, yeah, yeah, yeah. evening, wherever you're watching us from. Tell it, we be a guy say inside the studios, Dubai, the whole world is watching Kings TV right now, right here on the dial. Kings TV Audio X Plus, also in the corner. Guys, Charlie, stay tuned for best things right here, as you've always been. Charlie, we're just going to go for a quick commercial break. When we come back, you know how we do it already. King's TV is right here. Today, the stars are here. You know, no, that's the plan. Eh? <laughs> right here on the dial. You know, guys, we're not taking anything for granted right here. Let's go and come back right now. Yo, yo, it's your girl, Sandy Babe. You can call me small love. This is Kings TV. TV, the number one TV station in UA. Right here, welcome back on the channel. My name is Silver Can Clipper once again, Charlie. As you always know, Charlie. Thank you so much for staying tuned. And Charlie, you guys have been an amazing people with us once again inside Dubai. And today, our special guest, let me quickly go to my special guest because he's right now the heatest and the hottest artist right here inside the US. He has always been the number one on the list of the people, the Africans right here inside the UAE on their lips. Kwame Stars, the general. What up, bro? <laughs> I swear, I swear. All right, so right here, I'm with Kwame Stars and also on my other right, handsome man. You know, just a Ghanaian man, uh, strong and natural. You know, this man is a Ghanaian strong man from the West Africa. Manager. <laughs> manager. Oh, man, sorry. I said, man, sorry. Oh, manager. Yeah. What's up? Nah, I'm here to move. 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 All right. First of all, I'll say thank you so much for honoring my invitation, coming on Kings TV today. I mean, we're going to talk about one or twos about yeah. the music and the entertainment industry right here in the UAE. Yeah. We are going to see how we are benefiting. Yeah. We as a young artist and young youth coming up, we are looking at the entertainment right here in the UAE. So first, I'm going to say, first and foremost, we are looking at Kwame Stars right now in the UAE. He's the hottest, hottest, I would say the hottest artist right now in the UAE. Kwame Stars, how did you make it? How did you make it? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I like, I feel like I'm working hard. Mm. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm trying my best to reach my destination. And everybody has, um, this thing, you understand? So I'm here to fulfill my, yeah. So I keep pushing in this little by little. My manager out here has been, you know, doing a lot for me too. So yeah. You, you've been in the industry for quite some time now. Let's say from, let's say 2020, you've been hot, 21, 22, and this 24. I would say no other artist in this UAE. I'm going to say it's going to get close to Kwame Stars. If you, if you are trying to compare me with somebody, I think that's no good idea because my style is different. I'm not comparing you to anybody. So what, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you are the hottest. Hottest? Yes. Ah, you already know, as we, we, we do always. Mm. Music is my passion. Uh, that is what I want to do. You understand? So yeah. I'm learning from others, especially somebody like Bena Boy, uh, and Chatawale, uh, Rima. Yeah, I always look up to them because they are my seniors and they are the people that I want to be like in, like in future. You know? mm. Even more than them, but for now, mm. they are the people that I'm watching. Yeah, look it up. Yeah. All right, let, let's look at the UAE entertainment industry. Right now, I would say it's, it's coming up gradually, gradually. And you are some of the main people that are pushing it right here in the UAE. So far, so good. How do you see the entertainment? The entertainment in the UAE. Um, I would say everybody has been busy chasing money. And here, if you don't work even for two days, you, you will not even have somewhere to sleep. You understand? And buying food out here is very hard. So everybody is, you know, focusing on their own share. Mm. But they are showing the support too for us, the artists, to mm. move forward. To move forward. Little by little. But it's very hard out here. Very hard. It's very hard, hard out here. So mm. Looking at you being a black, black artist, 
black artists in this year country. How, how is the feeling like? And your own, your own people boosting up to you, crown the stars, crown the stars. I mean, how do you feel? How is the sensation like? How is it like? I feel like I'm trying. That's the only thing I can say. Hey. Yeah, I feel like I'm oh, trying. Because when I started one year, one and a half year, yeah. I thought about Bish Khalifa, you remember, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. He saw something in me. And that is what keeps me always moving. Mm. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to give up. Mm. Because there's not a time for me to give up. Exactly. It's my time to make it right. To make yeah. it right. I'm, I'm we are going to come, we are going to come to the Bush Khalifa side because that one is for me to ask you. <laughs> All right. Let me move to your manager. Right. Manager right here. Fresh, fresh nigga manager, you know, fresh boy, you know. <laughs> Ladies, watch out for this manager. Yeah. Manager. Yeah. We are looking at entertainment. Exactly. You being a manager of Kwame Stars. Yeah. I mean, and looking at the young youth uh, coming up with their new yeah. skills and all that. How do you see right now. The, the, the youth coming up? Yeah. Well, currently, if you check around, there are a lot of people trying to survive in music. Mm. I mean, it's very difficult coming up as a young artist and it takes a lot. Okay. So for Kwame Stars, you know, I saw Kwame Stars, I've been watching his videos and all that. I was like, yo, this guy is so good. Mm. So when I draw closer to him, I notice that even, even the way he writes his songs, he does not even sit down to write it. Right there. Bro, I can be working with him. He'll just say something and he'll be like, nah, this is a punchline. He just record them down. Exactly. Immediately we get home, he does a full song. I'm like, yo, how does he do this thing? So, I mean, when you combine all these potentials or all these capabilities that you see around him, you could notice, yeah, he has something in him. So, in such person, if you are investing into him, you're going to definitely, something better might come out of it. Again, that's why I'm also putting myself into this. Okay? And since I came into, I mean, managing him, I can see that, yo, you yourself, you can mm, see how they're improving. I mean, There's improvement a coming out a lot. Yeah. And I mean, you guys should watch out. We are always we are coming out with something amazing. So for sure. Talking about coming out yeah. with amazing thing, yeah. let's look like like I mean, you've been a manager here in the UAE and looking at the other artists, the young artists, right? What do you think is keeping them from coming out? Okay, one thing you just have to believe in yourself, regardless of what people say, it shouldn't let you down. Mm. Okay, because. When I drew, when I drew closer to him, he told me a lot of things that people used to say about his music that nearly dropped him down. But no, he stood in to fight for himself. Because if I didn't see his efforts, if you if he backed off, I wouldn't have seen his potentials. Okay, so when I when I saw his potentials, I knew like, yo, there's something in this. There's something in him. He gets. Mm. So they shouldn't back off. Regardless what people say about you, I mean, these fingers are not the same. This is short. This is also short. This is long in there. Okay? If she tell you, this one was short. If this one discouraged itself by being like, oh, because I'm short, I cannot be with this, he would have left. Mm. But don't forget, if this is not there, this cannot leave. All the fingers can never be possible or cannot be comfortable. All right. So in this situation, yeah. don't listen to what people say. Just do your thing. Be yourself. And for sure, someday it's going to work out. You're going to get to. All right, looking at work aspect, you being a manager, yeah, putting in your investment in an artist, yeah. Let's look at work aspect. How do you think the artist is going to run himself on a work base and then still go to the studio section? Is it going to be okay? Yeah, it's okay. He does mm. it. He does it. Yeah, wow. he does it. As I said, Kwame Stars, he's not supposed to. You're not supposed to sit him down to write a song. He, you can just get a beat for him now. Tell him, bro, I have an instrumental for you. Record. He's gonna give you a press from from top to down. That means work in the UA doesn't even keep you from doing what it. I mean, unless you want to do it. You are now learning how to do music. Mm. If music is you, mm. you don't struggle to do it. You sit in front of your microphone, or you get your instrumental, and the verse starts to come. I used to do music myself. Okay. I know how music is. Music is my own. Like, I love music. So when I, when I hear people bringing out their bars and all that, and I see that you are good, I know you are good. 
Okay. So when I'm putting on an investment somewhere that I feel like can benefit me someday, I know. You feel me? Yeah. So yeah. All right. So you heard the manager. Manager is speaking. Guys, get your ears right here. Kwame well, Stars, let's look at your music. The hottest right now in the UAE. I just dropped a new song. Mm-hmm. Called Lasso. 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 I know, I know you have. You yes, have Lasso, Lasso. 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 Yeah, bro. <laughs> Manager, let me ask you this Lasso word. What's the meaning of the Lasso word? Lasso. Lasso. Yeah. Obi said in Kwame, who face who may be numerous one. Because they don't understand. Lasso means like whack. Wow. Mm-hmm. Somebody will be whack. Okay. Wow. You understand? This is where we talk last, last, okay. last. Yeah. Paru. Paru, Paru means you talk too much. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Sean, they talk they too much. Man. Okay. Show sure. it. No, talk. No, no, no. no. You, you, are, you are dragging my mind somewhere. I'm talking of talk they talk. Are you trying to tell me about the beef you had with some people on the social media? <laughs> that would always be there compl- because I'm a tease. <laughs> mm. All these people will come for me. You understand? Mm. And I can't mention some name here because... This is a very big platform. I don't want to use it to hide them. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Pam, if you say you don't want to mention names, are you really in competition with somebody that... They no, can't compete with me. We can't can be in competition. Uh, Nobody can compete with us. Mm. Regardless. Mm. No, we can't be in competition with anyone. Bro. Mm. Never. 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 But do you think you have any competitor? No. You, per se. I don't think. Maybe my competitor. No, no, no. But how would be like? You. Mm. Sorry to use my last. You. Mm. <laughs> Tell me who can compete with Kwame Stars. Yes, yeah, then. Guys, okay. who can compete with Kwame Stars? <laughs> Let me know. That is the question. I mean, who? <laughs> the question is, who can do it? I only want to compete with Look, these people. If you Let can compete, going. honestly, if you can compete, yeah. come. I'm going to take you to the studio myself, record you, and we'll bring your music out and see if you're any, even the one that he's asleep and he sings. I'm not sure it's going to even go closer. All right. Talking about competition, then guys, you guys should get ready for King's TV Cypher. Kwame <laughs> Stars is going to be the entrance. He's going to be the entrance. So whoever is ready, just be in the booth. Get yourself prepared. Kwame Come on, Stars. Bambi Bound. <laughs> Kwame Stars, let's, let's talk about, do you have any um, EP or any album coming up very soon? Soon, for sure, bro. For sure. Set. I have so many songs mm. that I'm trying to release. Mm. EP maybe from September going. Mm, yeah, from September going. The EP is coming hard. That is the Stubborn Boy. Mm. Yeah, the Stubborn Boy EP. And that one is coming on on the, maybe around 26, mm. 26 September, yeah. So yeah, we are working on it. How, how long it. have we been in the game? Looking at looking at you and the way you're spitting your your bars and all. How long have we been in the game? A long time, bro. This is my life. You know, I started doing music at the age of fourteen years, and I quit to be a barber. Mm. Quit the music, and I became a, because in Ghana, you know, the support is not really tight like mm. that. Because that time, nobody has money. Yeah, everybody is. Mm. Putting the ahead somewhere to mm. get money, you understand? Yeah, so I came to Dubai. When I came to Dubai, that was the last four years. I started doing music. I started doing music because I feel like that is what God sent me to mm. come and uh, do. Mm. So I can't sit back and watch my talent to be damaged. You understand? All right. Yeah. yeah. You've, you've watched the new artist back in Ghana, Africa, and all that. You see how booming they are coming, the Afrobeat and all that are coming up. Yeah. Looking at, let's say, recently Kim Paluta and all that, people. Looking at them, how do these people inspire you? Bro, they inspire me a lot. Because even me, being inside this game is very hard. And someone has been in for a long time. He was under G, even that, that time he was under G. And now he has blew I see him to be, you know, he motivates me a lot. Somebody like Kim Paluta. Mm motivate me a lot because he was a rapper and he stopped to be like yeah. become a, a singer so but that guy is really making like mm-hmm. he's motivating me a lot all right you've hit a point here that all Ghanaians are really asking right now yeah. about switching from being a rapper to singing do you think it's really helping our Ghana I mean industry right now because right now looking at Ghanaian rappers most of them are switching from rap to singing um it's helping singing is helping because now that i'm a piano then i feel beats has taken all about everything in the, um, in the world even i'm a piano will be like maybe top one or top two um, um i think it is number one so yeah i think like 
Uh, yeah. The singing helps a lot because uh, rapping, not anybody who can sit uh, down and listen uh, to rap, you understand? Uh, they only uh, want the singing uh, so that they can, you know, yeah. they can dance to it, chat to yeah. it and stuff. Yeah. But the rapping, you need to sit down and listen to what the person yeah. said, the message inside it, because yeah. rap is message. Yeah. Yeah. Rap is message. Yeah. If you don't have that message, you cannot rap. Yeah. yeah. So you think the singing is, 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 is really helping and Self-help. pushing them? Self-help. So will you switch one day to singing? I don't switch. I have both things. You have, you have both, both genders. Both genders, bro. All right. <laughs> I don't switch. I have both genders. All right, uh, manager, let me come to you. Um, let's look at record labels. Do you think record labels are really helping our young artists these days? Well, you can see that uh, most of the times when this young artist gets into record labels, it doesn't stay along the leaf into different. They keep jumping from one place to another. Mm. But I feel like Though record labels could be great privileges for you to come up as an artist, but yet still, whoever you started with, you can still get up with that same person. Mm. I can give you an example. Psycho is not working with, um, with a record label. Mm. You can check on that. Since he was, um, he was coming up, he's been working with Angel for a very long yeah. time. And yet still, he's still moving wherever he is with Angel. Okay. Mm. So it doesn't mean, I'm not saying record labels are bad. Yeah, some record labels that are taking people to the house. Yet still, you can still do it without a record label. That is all I can say. Which advice would you give them? Would I give them in what sense? Which advice would you give them to go in? Which which category would you put them? I mean, should they go in for the record label or stand and fight? It depends. Okay. Mm. You're with me. Yeah. I'm able to provide you all the resources. I'm able to push you to wherever you want to be to. I'm able to go to wherever you expect me to go, but I can But no, wherever you expect me not to go, but I go there and bring it up. Mm. What's the essence of record? But don't you think some record labels also shut down the careers of the artists? They do a lot. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm telling you. Mm. There might be a possibility yeah. that the record label could be of a great ally to you. Mm. Yet still, they can still be a witness. Uh, also, you can if you have someone who assisted you from the beginning, and he or she is being able to do whatever that you need as an artist. Why would you need a record label? Record label, no, because of course, can of cabisha. But so you being a manager right now, are you looking to sign any other artists? I mean, to add to um Kwame stars. No, for now. Yeah, I'm not seeing any artists like Kwame Stasi and UA for now. Wow. Until I get a competitor or I can see someone who is capable like Kwame, mm. he's still going to be my artist. All right. So let's talk about the beef issues. Oh. Do you think it's wealthy for, for a, um, an upcoming artist to be having a beef with, I mean, a standard class, I mean, music, musician? Okay. An upcoming artist. Do you Hon- have to beef an elderly Hon- one? Honestly. Mm. <laughs> Those One beef that you call it beef, yeah. you, don't, you don't call it beef. Okay. Kwame does those things when he feels bored. Okay. Mm. I'm when, not talking about Kwame. It's not, it's not, <laughs> no, I mean, you are saying that he, he's, if he responds to mm. beef, isn't it? Mm. No, and I'm telling you, mm. if Kwame responds to someone's beef, yeah. it means he has nothing to do. You, <laughs> what's your thought on that? Do you think it will, it will, it will push the artist or it's going to bring the artist down? As a youth, I mean, a young artist coming up. Okay. Mm. Let me give you an example. Mm. When Sarko, the, uh, mm. when your Raymer, I'm sorry, your Davidos, when your Yaponos, mm. when your Shatawalis, mm. when they were coming up, mm. they had beefs, they had battles that. But look at, I mean, um, uh, uh, Yapodo now. Yapodo is nowhere to be found now. Sarko was having beef. Where is he? It depends. <laughs> It depends exactly the point. Mm. Who knows? Kwang is Star's way of beefing. He's not beefing because he's chasing clouds or something. You know what? Wait. <laughs> Guys, we're going to talk on the beef again. Let me go for commercial break and come. Yeah? <laughs> Let me go for commercial break and come. Yeah, what's up? I'm Angels. Ube to my friend, Kokumodo. Keep watching Kings TV. I hire number one. Who came free? Okwa Kwa Shede. Munya Munche Kings TV. 100. From that quick commercial break, Charlie, the studio is on fire. Charlie, the late night show in the chat, and you know, this is what we are bringing you the celebrities in Dubai. Some people are saying there is no celebrity in Dubai, but we are creating our own celebrities. What I say, yeah, we create here, 
these are our celebs. If we don't create our own celebs, who are going to create them for us? Are you going to take um, John, John, John Mensah's? I mean, no, no, no. We have to build ourselves. Yeah. You understand? So right here, I have Kwame Stars and his manager, the beef manager, I call him. Yeah. <laughs> we are still on our beef issue. Okay. Do you think it's benefiting the young ones? Well, some of them is benefiting them. Mm. Yeah. Because... Who knows? He might go and beat someone who mm. might lead him to somewhere. Mm. Or an artist can, a bigger artist can mm. see him. Okay? Mm. I'm not saying it's a, it's a good thing or it's a bad thing. Mm. I can You don't know how someone rises. Okay, because I know of some people that when this um, interaction came between Kwame Stars and whoever that he did with, yeah. some people brought their mouth in there and now those people have been observed now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You understand? Yeah. But to me, you But because of beef, you not saying you Okay. So, you know, they mean say like all the time, beef, they bring effect, they bring people out. The problem beef is sometimes, you know, emotional, I would say, like the way Kwame comes in, then you, you know, you but, know, it's boredom. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's be busy. Oh yes, yeah. Hey. Yeah, because they, they, because they, let me not catch you. I quite remember Kwame called me on food. Don't you see I'm beefing? No, I'm not beefing. I'm like, Kwame is full of drama sometimes. Uh, he was beefing me myself. I'm like, <laughs> what did you do before you were beefing? He called me. He said, "Yo, I'm beefing someone, and you're not talking about it." And I'm like, "What? Why is he beefing someone, and you're not talking about it?" I wasn't even in town. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> when I went to Kenya, for this okay. when I went to Kenya, when I came back, it was like, the same night I came, I met him, I was like, I'm beefing and you're not talking about it. I'm like, yo, man, I just came back. <laughs> Kwame, your beef, you need to, you need to, you need to <laughs> minimize your beef. Everything we do, we take it serious. Mm. We don't joke with anything. Mm. I mean, you brought yourself, it means you know what you wanted. So we just have to spit it out. Do you think the entertainment industry is going to move far in the UAE? Because we are not going to stay here forever. You know that. Okay. We're if, going to go back home. Okay. This is it. We are greatly to stand anywhere we go. Mm. Regardless mm. how long we're going to stay here. Mm. Because we have to set up. Um, because right now, you know, the locals are even observing our hard work. Yeah. You get it? Because he went to perform in Burj Khalifa. In Burj Khalifa, you know, so you know the kind of people that... How did that deal come about? Let's talk about it today. Okay. Because he's the only Ghanaian artist, if I may say that. If I'm permitted to say that. Okay. He's the only Ghanaian, right? Mm -hmm. Should we cross-check history? Yeah. That is what I'm asking you. Mm. That's why I ask you the question again. Yeah. Who will you compare with my artist? In the UAE. Yes. Not even the sax. Yeah. Not even the um the King Promise. <laughs> Had even performed inside of which Khalifa. Yeah, no. <laughs> Tell me. Continue. Not even not even who. Not even the whole day do. Yeah. <laughs> Should I say that? Continue, bro. Yeah, you can. Kwame Stax, how did that deal come about? <laughs> I swear, bro, what you said already, you have already said it, right? I'm a good artist. The whole test in the back. The whole test in Dubai. You have the whole test in Dubai right now. Yeah, the hottest right now. Yeah, and and, and we, we really, we, we appreciate that. I mean, you and your management are doing a great, I mean, great work right here. Because, I mean, we say, anytime I, I say this, when we came back, when we came to Dubai, there was nothing like entertainment. You understand? There was only one place that Africans would go. That is Fortune Night Club. Yeah. You understand? But now, looking at how far we've come with the entertainment here, we the youth, I think we've we've come so far to even give up. I a lot. And looking at the young management coming, but I mean, I know I saw you when you started. Me and you, I mean, we go Albasha, we are going here with no management, right? <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. But now I say to glory be to God. Now you've gotten the management yeah. that I mean they're trying to supervise you. I mean, you yeah. being a young artist, I my wish for you is to be on a higher level. But it's up to you to what to decide where you want to be. Yeah, for the hard work, you're putting in hard work. 
I don't I don't let him sleep either. Yeah. I don't let him sleep. He does a lot. Any collaboration? Well, there are a lot of collaborations. In I, UAE. Yes. Collaboration I mean, in UAE. We've got a lot of collaborations. Ghanaian artists. Cameroon. We are still looking into Ian to see if we can find an artist to mm. give a feature to you. We have a lot of proposals on okay. it. But yet, um, guys, don't worry. We are still looking into your proposals. We are sorry we delayed. But yet still, we are going to come back on that. Mm. All right. So, Kwame starts. Come on. What should we expect from you in the next two years? I'm not giving you five years or no, I'm giving you two years because we don't have time. Something bigger. You know, I'm dreaming big. I'm dreaming bigger. Not to be like somebody like, I already, I already told you this, like, how to look like that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, see, ah, that guy this is the guy. In the next two years, it's not going to be playing, bro. Like, I'm working, bro. I'm really putting too much effort in what I'm doing, you understand? And I'm not ready to back off. I don't have something like that. Where we came from, we don't know anything like that. Mm. We only know about pushing. You understand? Mm. Yeah. So and you, now, watch out. you see when this artist, you've been a manager, yeah. this artist that comes from Ghana to UAE to perform in this um the occasion and all that. Yeah. We see Kwame start performing. Why don't we see some collaboration with this um artist that come to Dubai? Oh, as I said, um we are trying to organize some uh, collaborations with some of these top artists that you guys are seeing coming through and all that mm. we're having conversations we are having a communication with them so for sure did you just watch us as for now we're just focusing on um bringing out um some new videos coming up soon mm. yeah we just um shout out to mr Fahid. yeah actually i didn't want to talk about this now but i wanted to talk about this later um, we went for a program in Fortune Nights Club where my artists went to yeah. from just currently. Mm. Yeah. I don't remember. Mm. We met this um few dancers over there, and they just saw how he was singing. They noticed that Noah he has a great talent. So these dancers came up to us and they were like, they would love to dance for us in one of our music. I'm like, really? I'm like, sure, man. I mean. One in body of four. <laughs> we took that privilege. And yeah, we send the music to them. Soon, there's a choreography coming up for all of our songs. So you guys should watch out and get ready for that. So yeah, shout out to them. They also be supportive in our music career, um, my artist's music career. So yeah, we're coming up with something large. Not only with us, we also have a team that is also supporting us. Both dancing, both um, anything fun. All right. Yeah. What would be that advice that you give to Kwame Stars that you're going to give to the upcoming artists now? What is that the advice, advice mm -hmm. that you give to Kwame Stars that is keeping him stabilized yeah. that you're going to give to the upcoming artists? Now? It's just two simple words I tell you. He shouldn't talk much. He should just show up. That is all. Talking much on social media, talking too much. Nothing better is going to come out of it. Show them what you are capable of. And that's what he's doing. He's not talking about He's showing you what he has in him. All right. Kwame starts. The final words, we go out. We don't, want to take, we don't want to take your time because right now you are hot. I booked you for 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't want my money to be <laughs> extended. You understand? Kwame starts. The final words to the people out there because yeah. everyone is watching you. Everyone is... On King's TV, everybody knows Kwame starts. Even in my house. The only artist they know in Dubai is Kwame starts because they said... I'm doing paparazzi for climate stars, but I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Bro, we look out to where the good thing is coming out from. Yeah. You understand? We change the good thing and we push the good thing. Yeah. You understand? Whatever you're doing out there, if only it's wealthy, we are going to do what? We are going to support yeah. the good work. So I don't want anybody to be out there and think maybe... We, no, that is not it. You understand? Yeah. So, Kwame Stars, tell them what you got to tell them. Mm -hmm. All right. Our people outside there, 
I really appreciate the love that you've been showing, showing me for a long time. And yeah, I'm dropping a new tune this Sunday. This big Sunday, yeah. That'll be, what's the date? Soon. Soon. Yeah. That's Let's give them soon. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give them soon. Yeah. I hope you all go and stream my music. My new song. And I'm, remember, there's two music videos should come out soon. We put it out there for you, you to stream. Continue showing the love because I love you in my heart. Really respect. The people are on yeah, or social media handles so that they can. The stream. name is Family Stars. You already know. Yeah. It's everywhere, Family Stars. Yeah. Shout out to my fans out there. I really appreciate everything that you have done for me. So, you know, being an artist in Dubai. <laughs> it's very hard to and there's an award coming on. I don't know if you are winning the artist of the year or anything of I always say this. Yeah. If you're mentioning award artist of the year, <laughs> best music, best best music video of the year. Hey, uh, if I any any and you, was any music, you 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 you, Obama <laughs> Jane, you come to me and tell me that I lost. That means you you are thief, man. <laughs> it is. All right. So I'm like, taking everything. Okay. Yo. Mm. I get one guy outside there. He's part of my management team. I see you, Respari. That's my guy. Yeah. yeah the guy who guy. bought my lion on the moon. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. bought my lion yeah. on the yeah. moon chain yeah. from Kenya. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Respari. 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 I see you. Respari. Respect. I see you, Kosimole. I see you, Joe Sabali. I see you. I see you on my jiggers outside there. Yo, fire. You too. Yeah, man. I see you guys. Yeah, man. So <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you so much for staying tuned. As you know, my name's Remain Ken Klepa, and I'm here with Kwame Stars, the hottest right now inside the UAE. And the sweetest handsome manager. The sexy ladies. If you're out there, please. <laughs> All right. As I always say, guys, if you're out there, if you want to sponsor King's TV, the doors are open. Whatever you want, just consult King Steve. Just DM me. They're going to do good business. This segment is not sponsored by anyone. It's sponsored by King's TV itself. So if you want to sponsor, to see your next artist on this show, please come and support me. Manager. Yep. Do you have anything to say to King's TV? Do you want to support my movement? Um, yeah. Thank you so much mm. for the support and how you're pushing us and all that. Honestly, I really love it. And we owe you a lot. Yeah, I mean, so far as you had a conversation with us, doesn't mean that you're only involved. Oh, no. You're also assisting us in your effort and all that. And thank you for that. Bless you. All the time. Bless you, bro. Kiss TV. Bless you. The best. Bye, too. You guys also watch Kiss TV every day because here's the only thing, the television we watch always, you understand? All right, guys. So if you come to UAE and you don't watch King TV, then there is no other place you're going to see Kwame Stars. See ya. <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't just go to every or any any radio station or TV station to do my interview or something. You got to. And you say, "Oh, so I'm booking me. Need the first kind of